Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Q&A. As you can see, I'm here at a beautiful resort. This is um, Rock House. I am not staying here. I'm not staying here, but <laughs> no, I um, I met some workers in the taxi yesterday and you know, they linked me, they linked me, we're good. We all right guys so obviously you can tell that that i i have my phone here if you can guess yes i invested in a new phone you guys i invested in a new phone it was a big purchase it was scary okay you guys it was scary it was it was scary okay um it's all right though because it will all pay off and i want to make a better content for you guys as you can see the picture is a little bit better more clear and the audio is a lot better right so i'm going to be answering some questions you, you guys answered a lot you guys asked a lot of questions so this will probably be two parts so i'm just gonna read off the list at sp4 real asked could you please tell us your story of, of being a nanny okay yeah so when i first started traveling um you know i was really on this kind of budget travel kind of grind like i didn't have money i was 19 years old i was working at a pet store and i was in college i was studying fashion merchandise marketing management so i was in school but i really wanted to travel and this was kind of during covid era honestly like interesting interestingly enough it was around covid era so um I started looking at work trades, um, which is on World Packers, which is basically just kind of an arrangement that you make with somebody around the world or anywhere in the world where you don't have to pay for accommodations. They, they give you a place to stay and they usually feed you and take care of you and you do something in exchange. Like it's a work trade, right? So long story short, I, um, I went to, I applied for a work trade in Costa Rica. It was a nanny position for, they, they had two eight month year old twins and one three year old boy, all right? So I was just like, hey, like I'm interested. Um, I'm interested in coming. So she messaged me and we set up a date and I went. So um it was a beautiful experience i was there for three months that was the same story that i was telling you guys in the last kind of series about my first time staying in a tent um i was living in a tent in their yard for for three months right so it was a very beautiful experience um they were like uh the father like i mentioned he was an indigenous um uh, indigenous mayan like mexicano mexicano not mexicana <laughs> and um, so he worked with plant medicine, peyote, temescal, which temescal is a sweat lodge. Guys, the waves are so loud. I hope you can hear me. Um, temescal um, and peyote is a, is a cactus that is used in traditional ceremonies in Mexico. It's known for opening your third eye and helping with meditation and clearing the mind for... Um, for just receiving answers that you need from within yourself you know guys we have we have the answers within ourselves, and these medicines help us get to that core because over time we kind of start to stack up this like energy that makes it difficult for us to find clarity in our minds and peace of mind to be able to receive the answers that we need from ourselves, right so um, we have some of these tools um, that have been used and practiced by indigenous peoples for years and years and generations and generations. So um, this is not just like a little eh, like party psychedelic type vibes, you know, like this is serious medicine and it's used in indigenous villages to help people heal. All right. So it's, it's a very, you know, kind of serious thing. It's near to my heart. And also it's the same thing with ayahuasca. Um, the the woman that um, that lived there, the wife, she worked with ayahuasca, which is a psychedelic. The main com compound in it is DMT, um, that is also used in indigenous traditional indigenous cultures 
um, to help people heal and um, it helps heal like addictions, um, past trauma, um, things like that. Things that we bury in our subconscious mind that we compartmentalize because um, as humans, our brain capacity can't always handle some of the things that we go through in our lives. So we compartmentalize them and kind of put them on the back burner, right? But what happens with this is that you begin to start living your life through the lens of, of whatever this is. And that is when we start having limitations because we haven't healed a certain trauma yet or we haven't worked through a certain energy that we've been holding on to for a long time. And that could have even started at childhood. It could have started at birth. So ayahuasca is, is one of those medicines, sacred medicines that helps you kind of unlock those parts of yourself that have been kind of hidden and locked away so that you can reach your highest potential. And I'm not saying that, let's go into it, let's go into it because a lot of you were asking about my ayahuasca experience. So I'll do a separate video about my ayahuasca experiences, but I just want to do a little explanation about it because I'm sure it, can, it has a misconception because you know people hear the word psychedelic and they think, oh man, that's a drug, whatever. No, this is a plant. This is a plant. It was it was gifted to us. It was gifted to the indigenous people and they discovered it to help heal. You know, there are people in villages that dedicate their lives to this practice and. Um, you know, to all the sacred plant medicines, they honor it. They they treat it like it's an ancestor. It is an ancestor. So these medicines are really powerful. And I would love to go into my experience about it, but it's just, there's so much to go into about it. Honestly, there's a lot about um, ayahuasca and peyote that I really want to go into. And they also worked with combo. That's another thing. Combo detoxes the body. Um, it comes from a frog and um yeah so that was my first experience with combo as well i ended up doing it several more times after that um because it's it's just i have a TikTok up about it i'll do a separate video about that as well but combo is an amazing um healing tool to cleanse your vessel to cleanse your body and if you have been you know just just to detox you, to detox your soul, your mind, and everything, to kind of help with alignment with your mind, body, and soul. I could talk for days and hours and hours about that. So let's move on to the next question, guys. What's my beauty routine? Okay, I'll do a video about this, but I'll explain it to you. So my beauty routine is all natural. It's completely natural. I don't believe in using chemicals. These chemicals are harming your body. They are dysregulating your hormones. Their fragrances and alcohols added to so many beauty products and for your skin, for everything. For so I am very I have become very conscious about what products I use externally because not only um, are we a reflection of what we put inside our body, we are a reflection of what we put outside of our body, right? So our external what we use in our external also reflects out, you know, so it's very important that if you when when you when it comes to these things that you I prefer to use natural things natural plants um, natural uh, alternative kind of beauty products because these things they what I have noticed for myself is I radiate more I radiate this more healthy kind of glow energy right so it's also very important guys beauty let's talk about it so beauty radiates from within right there are things that we can do that help you know make up whatever whatever but that's not what makes you beautiful what makes you beautiful is 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 feeling content and at peace in your own skin is 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 being confident in yourself so a main part of my beauty routine is meditation is yoga is not holding in emotions because when you hold in emotions it you carry that and people can feel that they can see they can feel that dense energy that you are holding on to if you don't allow yourself to feel emotion so allowing yourself to feel emotion to dance women you know some, something so like to tap into your divine feminine energy you know that is that is when you begin to radiate that that light all right 
so practice dancing moving your body you know liberating yourself to feel like comfortable in your skin that is an important part of my routine that you know I believe all women and men should could implement in their lives and you'd see a big difference in the way you radiate in the way you glow the way you look but in terms of things that I use um, I use all natural soap from the soap factory that I used to work at you can look them up on TikTok at soap factory by the sea um, blessings on natural soap it's amazing it's homemade it's handmade um, it's great for you and it's um, all natural like everything is natural the honey that is used in it the there's coconut oils there's essential oils that they distill themselves you know and herbs and plants that they grow and dry and make themselves so this there are no additives to it it is just pure it is pure um, just pure goodness all right so I like to use many different ones I like charcoal I love to use turmeric turmeric on my skin it helps with uh, dark spots and things like that um, kojic acid is also a great one for anti-aging um, I'm um, you know I'm young but it's never too early to start with that routine all right um, there's just so many different like aloe vera I love aloe vera you guys know I always I always put aloe vera in my videos <laughs> So after I like wash myself, I use like this, um, it's kind of like a scrub thing. It like vibrates and I put it on my face because it, when I wash my face, because it helps um, with circulation and circulation in your skin helps it to look more glowy, radiant. And yeah, so I use natural soap only. I also love Dr. Bronner's. If you're in the States, Dr. Bronner's is a great one to use. Um, for your skin, for your body, for um, you can even use it for you can, it's all purpose. You can use it for dish soap, um, washing your clothes, um, anything. All right. So Dr. Bronner's is great, completely natural. Um, smells amazing. I love the smell of the essential oils, you guys. Um, what else? So after I do that, I use aloe vera. I get some aloe vera out of my yard, and I just break it. I put it all over my skin. Um, especially when I'm breaking out, you know, um, and then I like to put a neem oil on my skin because I'm, you know, that also helps with breakouts with, um, any kind of mosquito bites or, or anything like that. Um, and it's a natural antibacterial. Neem is a natural antibacterial, so it's great to put on your skin to just kind of make sure that it's, it's good. You know, it's, it's all right. It's taken care of. It's healthy and it's radiant. It smells bad, but it's so good for you. Any medicine that smells bad or tastes bad is great for you. You know, even drinking like neem tea is so good for you. It's so good to keep mosquitoes away um, because your blood becomes bitter. They're not interested in it anymore. There's a, there's a boat. Hi. <laughs> there's a boat passing. They're waving to me. All right, let's see. What do my tattoos mean? So, <laughs> I have a lot of tattoos, you guys. Um, 